Good morning and welcome back. It is 647 on this Saturday. Thanks for starting off your weekend with us. It is a bit mild outside this morning. You may be a little bit surprised. Milder than yesterday morning. About 8 to 10 degrees warmer than where we were 24 hours ago. And that has us at 64 in Cleveland, 60 Blue Ridge, 60 degrees in Murphy. So even our cooler spots on the mild side this morning, 64 in Dayton, 63 in Dalton, and 66 in Chattanooga. Now we are mild because we're out ahead of that front and we had clouds linger overnight. Wouldn't be surprised if you're about to head out the door. If there's some patchy mist out there, there's even some fog from Murphy Blue Ridge and points off to the east this morning. As we take a look at the radar, maybe a few sprinkles just west of Pikeville and Dunlap. We do have a very, very slight chance for a stray shower, a few sprinkles this morning out ahead of the front. But I think the rain chances are going to be extremely low, 10 to 20% at best. You can see the better rain chances are to our north. There's that cold front. It's currently moving through Nashville as we speak. It will continue to march its way eastward, and it will be here in the Tennessee Valley, across our westernmost communities later this morning, easternmost communities early this afternoon. So let's track that front for us because our cloud cover depends on it. That's important today because many of you, I know probably one of you, that partial solar eclipse. So we're cloudy this morning, some mist, maybe some sprinkles possible out there. The clouds linger through the morning hours. Then around noon, one o'clock, we start to see breaks clearing across our westernmost communities. We could still see some clouds here in Chattanooga, but those clouds will clear out in Chattanooga shortly after that. So early afternoon and then by this evening, everyone is mostly sunny before the sun sets. But the exact timing of that front and when that cloud cover clears, that's important for the partial solar eclipse here in Chattanooga. So the eclipse will begin at 1141. The best time to view it will be when it's at maximum coverage, which is about 50%. So the moon's shadow will cover the sun's disk at about 50%. That'll happen at 108 this afternoon. The eclipse will end at 240. So it is a three hour event that gives you a three hour window for you to get outside and look up at the sun. Keep in mind though, it is not safe to look directly at the sun. You need those special eclipse glasses, which are darker than regular sunglasses, or you need a projection viewer and you can look online to see how to make one of those. It's pretty easy. Here's your college football forecast, Georgia away in Nashville, taking on Vanderbilt, noon Eastern time kickoff, 11 a.m. Central, 65 degrees. It will be a bit breezy during that game, so you need to pack the layers if you're about to head up the road. Arkansas taking on Alabama at home, 70 degrees, lots of sunshine, beautiful football weather there. And Texas A&M at Tennessee in Knoxville, 3.30 this afternoon. Maybe a few showers early this morning for tailgaters, but around kickoff, it's looking pretty good, 73. But there will be some wind out of the west. So here's your seven-day forecast. Breezy here in the Tennessee Valley today, tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a much different day. We're talking about highs around 60. It will be cloudy. It will be dreary. So the better weekend day to get outdoors and maybe go to the pumpkin patch, take the kids to the playground, or attend any of the area events will be today. Now on Monday, we're cloudy, 59. We will see a gradual warm-up next week, but then our next cold front moves in on Friday.